I'll lean over to be in. Hey guys, it's Maddie. Uh, my name is Tracy. <laughs> There's Nugget and Story is right there. I don't know if you can see her. Yeah, you can see her. Okay, right, so this is our top five favorite breeds, just in general, not for service dog work. Uh, so. And it's preference Yeah, only. it's preference. It's not saying um, that we're an authority on it. No. Because some of these breeds would make horrible service dogs, <laughs> at least on my side. So. Number five for you? Number five would be the Dutch Shepherd. So it's a very pretty breed, uh, kind of sort of similar to the Belgian Malinois and the Shepherd and the German Shepherd. Uh, very rare breed uh, as opposed to German Shepherd Malinois. They really, they come in a variety of colors and they're very pretty. Uh, so your number five? My number five is the Poodle. And don't laugh. <laughs> The stand actually the reason why I chose the poodle is because of the fur because I've had dogs that shed like crazy so much I'm so tired of cleaning up fur uh, and I know that there are some standard poodles that are service dogs I didn't even know that standard poodles existed because when I was a kid we had a miniature poodle and I thought that was the only kind of poodle there was so when I found out that there were standard poodles and that they made good service dogs um, I really like them. So um, that's my yeah, number five. I know someone, Axel, with a dude that we met at Drew Lynch Show. Yeah. Yeah, he's pretty awesome. So yeah, <laughs> mine is a poodle. Choose your size. <laughs> okay, number four? four would be the Rottweiler. I like the breed. Um, they're a very sturdy breed, and I would definitely uh, choose it if I wanted a, like, a weight-pulling dog. Um, unfortunately, I like more active dogs, so I couldn't really take a Rottweiler biking for miles um, due to being them being like kind of sort of brachycephalic, not really. Um, but yeah, they're big dogs. They're awesome breeds, and they're very versatile. <laughs> okay. okay, you're number four. My number four is the Beagle. My, I know, I told you you were going to be shocked at some of my choices. Megan, but Megan has a beagle. My sister has a beagle, and it has been the best dog. Like, it's not needy at all. It's very loving and kind and good with children. So that's my number four is the beagle. Uh, coming in at number three, we have Doberman for me. Now, Dobermans are very good dogs. They're very lean. They're very muscular. They can go for long periods of time. And I've seen some Doberman service dogs, not in real life, but online. So they they can they can be pretty they can be trained to do pretty much anything. They're very um, like I said, very versatile, um, and they're just very elegant looking dogs in general. Okay, you're number yep. three. Number three. Okay, are you ready for your face? Huh? <laughs> Irish Setter. Oh. They're so gorgeous. Yeah. I had an Irish shed. setter when I was in high school, and that dog was the most loving dog and very smart and just gorgeous. Um, so that's my number three Irish setter. Good boy. Uh, coming in at number two for me, Belgian Malinois. Did you do three already? Yeah, I did the Doberman. Oh. <laughs> I did. Um, uh, coming in at number two is the Belgian Malinois for me. Now, Belgian Malinois is the breed I am looking for as the next prospect, but I won't really be mad if the dog falls through. I will, it will become a sport dog. It will stay with me unless problems occur that it cannot stay with me. But they're very, very, very versatile breeds. They're very strong, very, they have a lot of courage and they've got a lot of speed and they are just very good dogs in general they're very one person dogs and they're very people pleaser dogs and they have a lot of energy which would make me get out more and exercise more like a uh, bike during i would do that with the dog and it would be a very fun time and i've also always loved the breed and meeting some handlers with them uh, has made me love the breed even more so it's now on my top five favorite yeah. list so what is your second second is the golden retriever of course. I'm pretty sure you guessed that one. Yeah, I guess um, that would be in the list. I've never had one, but everything I've ever seen about them has always been positive. 
Um, they're, they're pretty good pilot dogs. I don't. Th I mean, I'm sure there are some golden retrievers with behavior issues, but I've never seen one. Everything I've always seen has been positive. I mean, I've seen like excited peeing. That's about it. Yeah. From them. It's a good family dog too. Yeah. Okay. And coming up at number one for me. Everyone knows it if you've been on the channel. German Shepherd. My last service dog. My last full-time service dog. Sorry, not service dog in training or anything like that. Was a shepherd. And I've grown up with the breed. I've just fallen in love with them. And they are very hardworking dogs. Um, they're very sweet dogs. And they're very, uh, they can be very protective when they need to be, but they can also be very loving, which I love about the breed. So they can be a great family dog in the right home and with the right temperament and the right breeding. Can be excellent family dog, uh, excellent sport dog. You know, you can get those dogs to do anything. Uh, Bullet was a tracking dog uh, on the sidelines and he was also, he also did bike drawing with us. So he was basically a sled dog, tracking dog, and a service dog. You know, he was amazing. I love the breed, and they're just really awesome dogs. Yeah. Okay, what's your number one? What do you think my number one is? <sighs> Labs? Yes. <laughs> A Labrador Retriever. I had one. Well, actually, mm -hmm. she was half Lab, half Great Pyrenees. And she was yeah, just like a yep. gigantic Lab. And she was awesome. She was so much fun. And... Mm. They love the water. So when it's oh raining, God. whenever it was raining, she would cry to go outside and oh then she God, would just Sam. go play in the puddles. Oh but God, Sam. I loved that dog. We could like literally like we had yeah, Sam, <laughs> my last well, my last like full time full time use service dog in training. Oh my god. <laughs> we had horse troughs. We used to live on a very small little farm and he'd jump in the horse troughs every single day. Mm. Like I'd be getting him ready to go out into public, go work, jump in the horse trough and take a swim. <laughs> and then he'd come back stinking and I'm just like, great. Now you need another bath. This is the fifth time this week. <laughs> but yeah, they are very good water loving dogs. They can be a good thing and a bad thing. Yeah. Uh, rain, puddles, mud, snow, just everything. Yeah. <laughs> They're very loving. Yeah, they are very loving yeah. and that can be a bad thing too because they <laughs> tend to trust a lot of people. Yeah. So yeah, of course, I've grown up with protection dogs, so mine are kind of just on that side. I've grown up with these breeds, um, so, you know, I'm going to be uh, different than hers. She's got, you know, family. She's got a young kid around her house. I don't, so I can have basically any breed I want as long as it doesn't mess with Nugget. We're cool. Awesome. Yeah. So we'll link each other's videos in the bio below description. description. Have a good day. All right. Bye, guys.